Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Have you ever been in a dilemma? If you don't know what a dilemma is, it's questioning whether you should go right, whether you should go left, should I stand still, should I go forward, or should I retreat? I'm sure we've been in a dilemma a time or two in our lives. There is a man in the Bible who was faced with a question, but I'm sure he did not allow himself to think twice or ponder over the matter, because what he did when he heard the big new law that came down from the highest officials in the land that you were not allowed to pray or bow down to anyone except the king. This man named Daniel went up to his room. He opened the windows wide and he let everyone see that he prayed to the one true God, Jehovah of Israel. He wasn't ashamed and he wasn't going to let anyone tell him he couldn't pray to his God. And I'm sure everyone else in that city, in that kingdom, probably obeyed that law except for this one man named Daniel and they were trying to set a trap for him his enemies were the highest officials in the land and they had a meeting they were going to trap Daniel they were so jealous of him because the king showed him great favor they wanted to get rid of him because he had so much power and favor from the king. Well, what happened? It all backfired on him. Because the one true God, Jehovah, stood by Daniel. He took up for Daniel and the wicked plotters we're going to have Daniel thrown into the lion's den. Now, they did get that far in their plot. But they weren't thinking this through. And they didn't think that Daniel's God had the power to shut the mouths of the lions. But that's exactly what Daniel's God did. He shut the mouths of the lions. They didn't eat him up. Daniel had to spend the night in that lion's den. But the next morning, he was set free. And guess what? The wicked plotters and their families were all thrown into the lion's den. And the Bible says that before they hit the floor, the lions were eating them up. So, I asked you this question. What is the right thing to do? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever been in a dilemma? Have you ever been faced with the question, Should I obey God or man? Should I obey what the highest man in the land says? Or should I obey what God says? You can never go wrong if you obey God, if you put your trust in Him. And remember, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown into the fiery furnace for not bowing to the king. But the king was astonished when he looked in and he saw not three men, but four men. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were actually thrown into the fiery furnace. But when they 
made it in there. They weren't killed or destroyed. It said not even a hair on them was singed. And the king was absolutely astonished. He couldn't believe his eyes. But they were set free, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, by the almighty hand of God. And God will set you free if you stand faithful to him. If you stand firm for him, he will go with you. He will set you free from the mouths of the lions. He will remove you unscathed from the lion's den. And he will set you free from the fiery furnace. You may feel like you're going through a fiery furnace right now. But if you call upon the name of Jesus, if you turn to him, he will set you free. He sure will. And what does the book of Ecclesiastes tell us? It says that the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandments. And that's what we're supposed to do. I was looking through that book of Ecclesiastes, that last chapter, the 12th chapter, and it was talking about you should obey God and reverence Him while you're young. Start out while you're young. Don't wait till you get old until the silver cord is cut. Now, what does the silver cord refer to? I did a sermon on that one time, and the silver cord being broken means when your soul leaves your body. I actually watched a video a long time ago about with our modern technology, they can watch when a person dies. And it said that there was a silver looking cord whenever a soul left the body. I found that highly interesting. The Bible knows what it's talking about, isn't that right? Anyway, the whole duty of man is to reverence God and to keep His commandments. Don't wait until you get old. And it said, don't wait until the grinders are few. And I wondered what that was talking about, the grinders being few. And when you look up the commentaries about it, it says, your teeth. <laughs> you know, when you get old. Sometimes you start losing your teeth or your teeth start bothering you so you get them pulled or whatever. But it said, don't wait until your grinders get few. In other words, don't wait until you get old. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Amen.